Oh my god, it counts. So yeah, we uh, I am right now, it's about uh, 4.30 p.m. for me on a Saturday. You know what that means? TNS is happening uh, in about an hour and a half. Oh god. So yeah, we are, we are, oh god, we are catching some uh, some folks out here, I think, in their preparations. Council, a very strong Cagliostro player, actually in, in the Discord server as well, has participated in a couple of the open brackets, so... Uh, man, goddamn. God, that tells you what. Uh, this character is causing a lot of trouble for me, especially, of course, Council, a very strong player of them, but... There's a, yeah, there you go, some, some patience there, I guess, uh, helped out a little bit. Uh, oh, okay, okay. I do want, yeah, I still do want to try. It looks like, I, I saw somebody do it. I, I do think you can maybe, bonk. Bonk. Okay. Bonk. Okay, again, once again, if I get hit by the spear, but there's no trap to follow up there, I'm actually not so uh, upset about that, necessarily. Okay, brave counter there, off of them. Love to see it. Uh, the brave points are a resource, right? They basically are times where... Oh my god. How many brave points Council has is how many times we have to get in on him, essentially. Ooh, and you know what? That little push back there without the traps to cover it, I think that is pretty minus, and Council, I think, is dead? Hard to say. Super Skybound Dart does a lot... Of no, no, he is, for sure, right? Surely. Uh, Super Skybound Dart does a lot of damage, especially when you have no brave points like that. Uh, obviously, it is pretty scaled to be the, at the end of the combo, but yeah, yeah. Actually, I think I was disrespecting Super Skybound Dart pretty heavily there. I think it would have killed even from notably more HP, possibly, uh, from Council there. Uh, but yeah, I think some patience on defense there actually is what sort of let us uh, let us live a little bit in that round, right? Council does like to do that uh, that little EX hip thrust there, which which can be pretty risky too. So if, uh, he thought, and, and explicitly is designed to basically catch us trying to mash out a button on him. Okay, okay, headbutt. Oh, nice. Actually, he called out something there. I wasn't ready to actually get a counter hit there necessarily. Uh, I don't want to get baited by anything here. Oh, okay. Okay, cancel that into rocks. This is, I mean, this is the scary one, right? Yeah, there, I, I, honestly, just triggering that trap. That, oh god, that for me, that's uh, that's perfect, right? That's ideal. We just don't want that, like, that ultimate trap while it's on while it's on screen. I feel like I just can't play the video game realistically. So, uh, just triggering it there is going to be is gonna be pretty good for me. Uh, bonk. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, okay, hold on. They guessed strike, uh, and uh, they guessed throw, and it was actually strike. Uh, we can't kill them here, so we're going to drop them down for one more round of some potentially nasty Oki. Okay, brave counter. Okay, again, I think you can actually 2-H Cagliostro in that uh, in that situation right there. Oh, he whiffed the throw. Oh, God, he spot dodged. Okay, oh, and Toilet once again. He's out of, entirely out of defensive options at this point, so that's good for me, obviously. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, crouch blocking there would have been a bit of a strange option with how far away I was, so I figured clothesline could work out. And hey, I think that's the first game that I've ever actually taken off of Council, so that's a, that's a great sign. You know, some again, just, just some, some patience in the neutral here, I think, has, has really been uh, paying big dividends. Ferris, Ferris, Ferris. Okay, triggers a trap. Fine by me. Okay, if he runs, I do want to really try and 2-H him in between. He actually didn't follow up. He, uh, he, he maybe thought that I was, I, yeah, I don't know, maybe, maybe he thought that I was just going to guard counter, so he wanted to save his meter, but... I actually, I didn't there because I didn't realize he had the 25 meter and I would have gotten blown up for it. Okay, I'll pay the toilet tax there. Oh, this is, oh, this is spooky. Yeah, yeah, right. Of course, when Caviar has those traps up, you got to be a lot more careful about stuff like throw, right? Because it will, it will lead to full combos for her. So seven golden letters there coming out of council. Well done, well done. We got, uh, we got our ass handed to us that time for sure. No, uh, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Again, I feel like I'm playing a little bit better in this Cagliostro matchup. But again, teleport is still the big one, right? I still do want to try and figure out what the oh, what the hell to do. Okay, we're just getting overheaded all the way to the corner. All the live long day, as it were. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's a, it's a, it's a, that combo is way longer than it had any right to be, in my opinion. Oh, okay. Far H again. Far That too, right? I mean, Far H is like... I feel like I want to know what to do about Far H, but also I think the answer is just like that button is a absolute nightmare for Ladiva. And I do get my throw baited there, unfortunately. Once again, that is that is one of the big things that I feel like is because Cagliostro's throw bait is uh, in my in, like it's, it's so unfuck wittable, right? It beats you delay teching too, like mashing a button. So it makes me so much more hesitant to delay tech, which means that I end up do I just do end up getting thrown a lot by this character. Whereas normally, like, other people, a lot of their throw baits lose to me, like delay teching with far L or something. Uh, but no, no, not not Cagliostro. Her throw bait is uh, is very effective against that kind of thing. Uh, okay, oh, okay. I thought I could mash a button there. Maybe maybe I just did it. Oh, okay, that's bad. Maybe I just did it uh, too 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 late, right? But I'm pretty sure if Kagelstro Kag teleports in your face like that, you can do something about it. Oh, and I got overheaded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, lots of lots of little tricks there. When when every little hit when Kagelstro has her traps out is a nightmare scenario. Okay, hmm. There I got counter hit. So I guess the the grounded one is actually plus. It seems absurd. Like if I block the first hit of that teleport there, I still just have to hold Kagelstro's mix. There's no way. That seems like. Too crazy, but maybe I'm maybe maybe that's just the case. I mean, the, the aerial one, I think I've definitely seen her get two H'd out of it, right? But that grounded one, like really, that's that's what we're doing with that. God dang, maybe maybe I, mean, I, I need to like I need to talk to council, man. I need him to yeah, like this one. I think you can't actually uh, you can't actually two H her out of it, right? Like I really need to talk to council and just have him explain those teleports to me or, or them. Actually, I'm not entirely sure uh, what 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 they go by, but anyway. Yeah, I need them to explain that shit to me, man. Just because it, it does not compute in my head. Like, I, I cannot figure out what to... Oh, we're gonna get... Yeah, yeah, combo here. Because we got back thrown into a trap, unfortunately. 
Uh, okay. It could be worse, I suppose. There's the toilet. Oh, we got our throw, our brave counter baited once again. Yeah, you gotta spot dodge that toilet as it's coming down, or else you don't actually have the frames to punish it there. But yeah, I, got, I gotta figure out what the hell is going on with uh, that Cagliostro teleport, man. Because I feel like I have a decent idea of some of what, you know, in, a general neutral game plan against Cagliostro. Like, you know, I'll, I'll take some spikes as long as I kill the traps and things like that. And like, uh, you know, headbutt the rocks, all that good stuff. But like that teleport is still just like a complete brain buster for me. It's actually Cag Cagliostro's offense that I find like basically unstoppable because of that teleport, right? So I really need to figure out what, what, what how it works. Uh, I mean, I guess obviously for things like whether or not it's plus on block, I can just go check the dust loop page. I've been saying I need to do for a while and then I just always get busy with other stuff and I forget to do it. But I, I really, 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 really need to just like, I, you know, I'm, I'm gonna do it um, between recordings here after I, uh, like between me recording these videos and then going to TNS, I'm, I'm just gonna look that up. Cause like at the very least I need to know the frame data on those teleport options, right? It feels like it feels crazy to me that I, I blocked that uh, the, the side switch teleport there, and I got a counter hit out of my light, right? So like they, that 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 side switch button that baits your throw is also plus on block, maybe? I I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I, I'm not gonna make any big sweeping judgments just yet because uh, I, I simply I'm, I'm ignorant, right? But that that seems uh, awfully strong if that is the case. That tells you what. Anyway, uh, I guess we'll uh, take a little bit here to find the match. So I will see you guys in the next one, and we'll go from there. Yeah, and talking about catching people in the warm-ups for, warm for TNS, right? Artorias here. Very, very beefy Siegfried player. So, let's see, let's see what we can do against him. But yeah, everywhere, we, we caught everyone in their, uh, in their TNS warm-ups, basically, right? I mean, this is, this is kind of why I played at this time, too. I kind of did want to, you know, it's always... We will learn a lot more from playing these really strong players than we might, you know, some of the... Oh, God, some of the lower rank masters like ourselves. So, uh, I, I do like to play right before these, uh, you know, City of Mayhem on Tuesdays, TNS uh, on Saturdays. Oh, God, Wazd on Wednesdays, right? It's all, it's all very good stuff. Okay, ooh, baited the 2H there, but I actually was not ready to bait it. I empty jumped there in case he 2H, and I thought the 2H was going to connect, and I was just, oh god, I was just not going to give him a follow-up, basically. Bonk. Okay, RL there, helping us uh, out of a jam a little bit, ever so slightly. Bonk, get grabbed, get slammed, get 6 excelled. okay, get 2 ut we'll, we'll take, we'll eat that Brave Counter, I suppose, we'll Brave Counter you right back for your trouble. We'll do 3 headbutts, nice, which he was not ready for. We'll far L him there, it'll give us, it'll give us our turn. This, I think, is going to connect. No, it will not. God, God damn, that move has no range. Okay, okay, that's a problem. Get away. Oh, God, he baited me. Oh, no, and then my second Brave counter just didn't come out. Okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, that, uh, that's, that, uh, unfortunately, that Skybound Dart there has no range whatsoever. You really do have to just to use it as basically the first hit. Otherwise, any pushback on block will, uh, will spell your doom there with that move. There you go, once again, far L. That's what I'm talking about, man. It's so good for just catching people. Oh, he got hit by that. I was not ready for him to get hit by that. And yeah, it's just so good for just, for just poking people and uh, keeping them and keeping them still, right? It's a, it's a wonderful little option for that kind of stuff. Okay, we get bonked. We got real... Oh my god, we got really bonked there. That's a painful little uh, little anti-air combo. Oh, and we got... I tried to delay tech there, but I did it too early, so I got counter hit out of my two elder. And Artorias is going to not kill us, but he's, it's gonna hurt. That's for dang sure. That tells you what. It's gonna be painful. Our uh, Siegfried Skybound Dart does a metric shit ton of damage, so it's gonna bonk us real big like. I'm just gonna reversal super. Oh, damn it. I thought he wouldn't respect it no god i thought he wouldn't respect it necessarily right because i thought he might he might like it's one of those things where it's the obvious option so i'm just going to do the obvious option because you think i'm not going to do the obvious option but unfortunately that is exactly what he thought i was going to do there you go all of our gems our hard fought gems but again we are basically hunting out like we are we are playing at times explicitly where we can fight these uh, strong players in order to learn right so we're not we're not here just trying to farm people of our of our level to get our gems up no we want to fight artorias we want to fight council we want to fight you know everyone you know who's who's going into these tournaments and uh, we want to learn from them, right? Because eventually we want to be able to beat them. Right now we can't, as you can clearly see. Uh, we are just not on that level yet. But we, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta get washed to get clean. Oh my God! And I'm currently trying. To, I'm, I'm currently getting washed, but I'm currently in the process of trying to get clean. Wait, when did we damage him? Did I, I didn't even break. I, I, I didn't even realize that. I thought that was gonna be uh, perfect. All right, all right. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's, uh, let's be a little bit more careful. Again, far out, uh, paying paying big dividends for sure. That ultimate uh, that EX projectile from Siegfried is a big problem for us. That's for damn sure. I tried to jump out of that pressure there, and I got uh, clocked by Rekka there. Now Siegfried's got two of those stacks of his Dragon nonsense. Okay, this is going to be not so great for us. Head, but not so great for us indeed. I really thought he would be in range there, but no. That that little uh, 2M that he stuck out there is quite the button with quite the range. And god damn, we are dead. Yeah, didn't have much of a chance to play in that second game, unfortunately. Artorias kind of uh, adapted to how we were playing in neutral and just uh, beat my ass. But, oh well, happens, I suppose. Happens, happens. Um, yeah, man, that's, that's, that is, that's some wild shit there. Yeah, I mean, what, what could we... I feel like we were actually... I, I do like, again, I do like this. Right? I feel like we caught, we caught him on the way in there a couple of times with Far L, which let us sort of take uh, our turns there. I feel like our offense was running decently. I think maybe we were just being a little... Still a little bit jumpy on... We got our Brave counter baited a couple of different times. 
right? Uh, we we reversal supered when it was maybe really really obvious that we were going to a couple, uh, that one time, right? So I think uh, I think some jumpiness on defense there is definitely still a big weakness for us, but it's something that I'm working on, right? It's something that I, I mean I hope you guys are uh, I hope you guys are we're in here for the long haul, right? So I hope you guys are okay with just watching me, you know, fumble around for a little bit here as we do attempts to get better and better over time. Oh, Sprite Cranberry, hello. You want a Sprite Cranberry? Is that the LeBron? This was LeBron James in that ad. Somebody, somebody who's who's not usually in in ads is in that ad, and I think I think it's LeBron. Uh, oh baby. Okay. So we, we, you know, as as we were saying though, we do we do actually have uh, you know perhaps another mere mortal here. Who we can maybe uh, have a, a better set against. So let's see. Let's see. I mean, uh, that's because that's because uh, Sprite Cranberry here is not a uh, is not a uh, you know four thousand gem player. It doesn't mean that we're going to beat them for free or anything, right? Don't don't get me wrong. But you know, it probably means that we can uh, we can have a little bit more of a competitive set here. So let's see. Let's let's try and uh, get some some gems back to potentially get stolen from us by those high ranks again. Ooh, yeah. Uh, Vera is one of those characters like Loane where I need to respect the reversal super a lot more, just because it really is it really is quite the uh, the nightmarish tool. Oh man, 2H getting blown up there. Unfortunately, I had the reaction, but that's just 2H is pretty slow, and that dive there is pretty quick. I have to either I think we're, it's going to be a combo, right? Yes, we're doing. I have to either do uh, jump and air command grab them, or in that case, honestly, where I had so little time. I actually do have to use Oliva's anti-air grab. Despite the fact that I don't really like it, it is, uh, the ultimate one especially, is like a six frame option. So it is a, a relatively, like a decently quick anti-air, right? So it, it's something. Uh, I have been told by somebody that, that back throw is actually a pretty decent option against uh, Vera's, uh, Vera's command grab. And actually, I do like that idea. Because it's uh, it'll be it'll be nice and quick. It'll be the fastest button that we could possibly match out, right? So I think if I if I see her if I see her coming there, I am going to try and yeah, like right actually I, we knocked her out of the startup there accident. But in general, yeah, I think if I see her coming, I am going to be trying to uh, to back throw her out of that command grab a little bit more often. Ooh, with the grab. Oh, reversal super. God dang it. And yeah, we're in range if she gets the full conversion too. And a wall bounce? No, doesn't get the, the wall bounce. There you go. Something like that, right? That's that's gonna be a, a more reliable way for us to anti-air her there than uh, even DP. No, no DP. That one, that one is a little bit slow on the draw, but you know, again, I like the idea. I like we got we or we got we got the right idea. Uh, this, whoa, my God! Whoa, he gets a, a full conversion there, huh? That is some 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 crazy stuff. Yeah, see now they have to be a little bit. They're trying to be a little bit more tricky in the air. Like we've given them something to think about, basically, on their air approach. But I thought we could punish the the startup of Lumini air there, but I guess or the recovery rather. But there is there is not a whole lot of it apparently. But yeah, we've given a little bit of something to think about on their air approach at least. Then right, you see them kind of trying to flip back, flip forward, be a little bit trickier with it. That's good. I'll be, if you if you if you make your opponent a little bit less comfortable just using their primary tools, that can oh god always pay dividends there. My two L my two L gets counter hit out there. Uh, big big unfortunate. All right, all right, that's my turn. Get bonked, get bonked, get triple bonked. Oh, they blocked they blocked the whole thing. The patience. I really should be blocking low by default there. Yeah, they they did do the overhead once, but again the overheads are just like there's really no reward off them anyway. Oh, they did it too. Oh my god, they did it way too early there. I, I was I was trying to back throw them there, and I ended up jumping accidentally. I don't know how that happened, but that is what happened. Okay, bonk. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we were too far for them to actually get a conversion at the very least. Yeah, see, they didn't, they didn't go for the the jump that time. Yeah, yeah. They're trying to be they're trying to be all uh, all all spooky like, right? But that's, again, that's good for us. That means they are they they have to uh, think a little bit more about using their tools. They're not super comfortable just doing it all the time. Give them something to think about on their own offense. There, this is not going to work. This never works. I, I learned that a long time ago. I don't know why I still believe that it can. Oh no! Okay, okay. Hold on. Could be worse. Or uh, by that I mean we could be dead. Or not. Okay, we have to hold all that because Lumini Arrow is holding us in place, and the throw is gonna kill. Unfortunately. Okay, okay, okay. I feel like one of the big problems for us right now is we're just letting her reversal super us uh, for way too free, right? We have to be. I think we unfortunately we do have to respect Vera when he's got 100 meter a little bit more than I currently am, because it is it is such a big reward that she gets off of uh, reversal super there. Okay. Oh, with throw. Get grabbed. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. We can actually uh, maybe start to get something going here a little bit. Get grab. Okay, brave counter. That's fair. No, no, get grabbed for you. Uh, you're going to push yourself a little bit closer to the corner there. I'm not going to complain. Should probably have anti at that, but it happens. Oh, nice back dash. I have been punishing that with, or not punishing, but it's kind of, you know, getting, taking a turn there with 6XL after every time that they've done that. Oh, I tried to back throw there and I didn't. You saw Lediva almost, he started it up, but we were, oh, we were still in the startup frames, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be a tough one there. Okay, that's unfortunate because I did spend meter on that, and Stun Dipper RC is gonna is gonna blow us up there. Unfortunate, but it is the way of the world. Luminiera, we're we're close to getting chipped out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we're very close to getting chipped out. Now we are in chip distance. Okay, okay, okay. Unfortunate there. Unfortunate. We I think uh, the uh, I mean the command grab was definitely what lost us that round, right? Not reacting to command grab in time with uh, with back throw. But in general there, I think we, we let them get way too much value off of Reversal Super, right? And uh, we, but I, the air approach, I am glad that we, we started, you know, trying to stop that with uh, the air command grabs. I think that is a good idea, right? And, and it did definitely, you know, it did give us some leeway in uh, the post-install the post world there, right? Where they had to be a little bit more careful about how they use their, uh, 
their little uh, multiple jumpy thingy there that Vera can do in the air. But overall there, uh, I think uh, we, we didn't quite, like, we, we didn't really get a whole lot of turns on offense in that match, right? Uh, because on there, we were, we were not really playing the neutral super well in that matchup. I think we were kind of just, uh, like, we, we weren't challenging, we weren't controlling space enough. We were being too passive, which just meant that they got a whole bunch of turns. And then sometimes when we did get our, our turn on offense, we really just let them, once we saw they were reversal supering so uh, liberally, I suppose, we really should have uh, punished them or at least baited it shown that we were trying to bait it a couple of times, right? If you walk up to someone and block and they don't reversal super, that still does signal to them that you had it in mind, right? So it's, it's the kind of thing that can uh, make them, give them a little bit of pause there. Oh, it's uh, Hippolas. Is it? Is that really Hippolas? God dang. Fairy? Uh, this, is, uh, this is a danger, right? This is a, this is a bit of a danger. Uh, I, I, no, I, I, I could have sworn Hippolas has more uh, has more gems on Fairy than this. I could be wrong. Maybe it's just a, because it is, it is Hippolas Owu, so maybe it's just also a fan of Hippolas, right? Who has uh, renamed themselves in, in Hippolas' honor. Hard to say. Uh, in any case, get headbutted three times there into command grab. Yeah, I don't think this is. I don't think I would have uh, won the neutral quite so easily against Tiplas. So I, I think. Uh, oh god, I think this might this might be a uh, adoring fan there. But regardless, I mean, we'll take. I, I, I can I can put this in a clickbait thumbnail. I beat the best fairy or something. Like that. I mean, Hippolas, I don't think Hippolas is the best fairy. Necessarily, but they're a good one. They're a damn good fairy. I don't know who I, I, I say that is because I don't know who the uh, who the big names in the fairy world are actually. What's well, Hippolas? The uh, Beepaw, right? Beepaw is probably Beepaw's up there, right? Uh, that's that's one. Of, that's a an incredibly beefy fairy also. Uh, there's probably some like non-North American ones that I'm also unfamiliar with, but okay, fair enough. We did learn one thing about Fairy: the uh, the air approach really isn't a bad idea, right? Just like, yeah, because because see right there. Okay, well no, when, when Gigi's out, the air approach is a slightly worse idea. But yeah, the fact that her 2H is air blockable like that, right? And we can also crush her like medium there, her far medium, which is the other button that you can kind of try to use to to catch this out, right? Yeah, that one. We can crush that with our our jump H, right? So we actually do have a pretty decent way to approach Fairy on the on the ground there. Okay, another Brave Point gone. That's that's great. I mean, honestly, again, the Brave Point's just like Cagliostro, right? The Brave Point's are a resource that we do... Oh, God, that was good timing to catch me with the low there. It's hard to do, but they did do it. There, like, yeah, something like that. I mean, actually, that was a counter, but realistically, we want that to be a crush of some kind. Okay, okay, okay. I was like, they, they're out of Brave Points. This is going to be the one for sure. Wait, that was... Oh, that's a projectile, right? That's the grabby one. I think it's going to be... It's going to be... They're gonna, I'm going to get their ass here for sure, but unfortunately, uh, no such luck. Oh, my, uh, my, my, my computer's doing a weird a weird little clicky noise thing. I got I to gotta look into that. Um, but yeah. We, we, we can crush her, her whip nulls there, but obviously yeah, it's, it's still worryable, worrying, and then yeah, 2H is, is air blockable. We shouldn't just be approaching on the, uh, from the air, keep in mind. The, the, but the point is that the air approach is is a viable one, at the very least. Oh, this, yeah, and this is, once again, this is when Gigi's out. Uh, the problem with when Gigi's out, jumping in the air is, is, is like a lot scarier, and honestly, approaching on the ground also becomes a lot scarier. Oh god, Gigi is just kind of, oh no, this is bad. Uh, we're not dead, this is a, this is a pretty, pretty big one here. Okay, okay, okay. All right, this is something, I suppose. This is technically something. We we do have some offense here on uh, on this ferry. They got a DPS right away. No, they actually didn't. I should have uh, perhaps I, I shouldn't have given it so much respect. Bonk. Okay, brave counter. Ultimate GG. Oh God, he oh, he t he he triggers right when he gets to you, huh? I guess that's what makes him ultimate, as it were. I thought I could maybe still uh, ultimate clothesline through him there, but uh, no no such luck. I guess that is that is the difference there with the with the U version of uh, of GG, right? Is he just, uh, he triggers immediately once he gets to. Get grabbed, nerd. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. This is uh, potentially a good start to the round here. Fairy still bereft of her DP, right? She doesn't have any way to really get us off her uh, consistently until she has 50 meter. Obviously, Brave Counter works, but Brave Counter doesn't, uh, Brave Counter loses to Command Grab. Right? You can't Brave Counter if I Command Grab you immediately. Okay. Bonk, bonk. Ooh, I tried to do double 5H there, and yep, yeah, it's just not working out. 5H can be a decent, like, it can be a hard call-out option, basically, if you if you really think that they're going to do uh, something something silly there. God damn it. Yeah, yeah, the ultimate clotheslines are panic options, for sure. It's just that, again, I, I just, like, I'm so I'm so scared and neutral against this this here character, man. Okay, okay, oh, okay, god damn, that's a chain. Okay, okay, fair enough. Yeah, it, it, it's just tough, man. Like, I, I gotta work, so the air approach, I think, is a good idea, but I do have to also, you can't do it all the time, right? It's better when it's kind of, like, a little bit of a, a mix-up there. So I do just have to, I have to work on uh, potentially the getting better at my ground approach versus Fairy too. But it's just, it's terrifying, man. Like, I, I just, I don't know how. I don't know how to approach this character on the ground. And that's, that's going to be a very important part of learning how to play against them, I think. Is learning how to at least survive on the ground so that we can do the jump approach every now and then and have it be a mix-up. Instead of the only way that we play the matchup, right? Oh, we could have gotten a bigger conversion off of that. With a counter hit, nice. Throw, though. Again, a solid option in basically all of those sort of clash situations, right? Beats everything except another throw or a Skybound Dart or a DP or something invincible, essentially. Uh, DP? No. No. Good patience, I suppose. That whip is a projectile when she does the big grabby one. So I can potentially super through that. 
Yeah, this right here is a projectile, so we can just punch right through it. Okay, okay, okay. That's not that's that's a decent idea that we uh, display there, right? Too. Oh, DP. Yeah, I, 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 it was a guess. And I guessed that they wouldn't DP, and I guessed incorrect. There's another brave point. There's, it's the last one, but now we are also in uh, some pretty big danger here. Doesn't get hit with the overhead is me, luckily. Oh, but doesn't get hit with the overhead is me is also the sentence structure that Fairy has reduced me to. So I hope you guys are happy. Um, but yeah, yeah, unfortunately. We we had we have a decent idea there. I do love the, the using the uh, this one right here, right against the the whip that project when when the whip's on fire for fairy there, it is a projectile, right? But unfortunately, still just a, a little bit tough for me to figure out what I want to do on the ground in that matchup, right? Like in the neutral on the ground, it's just like Ugh, I just don't like. It's like this is obviously horrible because one Lidiva has the worst roll in the video game at 33 frames compared to everyone else's 29, so it's very punishable. But like. Like, walk and block seems like I don't really make a whole lot of progress. Maybe, I mean, no, I, I, didn't, I didn't commit to it hard enough, maybe. Maybe just, like, again, that slow creep up. These, these like, these matchups, obviously, the ones that are very, very neutral intensive. Catalina, we talked about in the last video. Fairy, Cagliostro to an extent. But Cagliostro, for me, again, feels like not even, it's not even the neutral. It's the defense that really, really gets me. But, yeah, I guess uh, we, we can we can talk about, like, Matera and Fairy and Catalina, right? These very neutral heavy matchups are the ones that I struggle in the most. Because I think, I, I again, we, we talked about it. Neutral is currently my weakest uh, point of the, of the game as a player. And it's also a diva's weakest point as a character. So those two things com compound that when we fight a character that has very, very strong neutral, Catalina, Fairy, Matera, etc., right? It, it All three of those things kind of triangulates to get our ass beat, uh, unfortunately. But I think it, it really is as, 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 uh, as, as annoying as it might be, like, or as just, you know, non-sexy as this answer is. The answer really might just be to uh, walk, right? To just slowly walk and slowly just inch some space forward. And then when they commit to something, maybe try to catch them off guard every now and then. But it's a, it's, it's a tough world we're living in. Okay, we got oh god, we got Blackthorn here. Then Armaya round start six XL for me gets blown up. Maybe not. Uh, maybe oh god, maybe not the most patient option I've ever attempted. I was gonna say I gotta hit the guard button against Armaya. She's gonna be crossing me up like this, and then she immediately did it again, and I immediately did not hit the guard button again. So uh, hi highly, highly sad news there. But you know, it, I suppose you can't always get what you want. Okay, I'm guard buttoning. Okay, we have delay. Like when I'm hitting the guard button, suddenly like delay teching, blocking high lows, everything like that just starts to be very difficult for me. That's plus on block. You can't match on that. I, I I wanted to say that like my my brain wanted to get that thought out before my hands had the uh, the idea to match, right? So I was like, that's plus. No, that's plus on block. What are you doing, right? But uh, unfortunately, the hands were already more than willing to match by the time that that uh, by the time that that thought made it over to them. Okay. Oh, I should have thrown there once again. We did it in the fairy matchup, and that is that's another habit that I'm trying to get in the in the habit of, right? Is uh, throwing people like that whenever we have a clash situation, right? Because I think it is a lot of the times going to be the best option for me. And it's not in the muscle memory right now. My muscle memory is just like keep mashing a button. Get grabbed? Okay, don't get grabbed. That's fair, I suppose. Oh god, I could have that. I had so much time to think about an air command grab there. It's actually kind of funny. Get away. Get clotheslined. Okay, no, no, don't get clotheslined. That's on me. Get bonked. We'll take that. That DP was a uh, little ambitious. Uh, is that how we might phrase that? Get grabbed again. Uh, or again, that's actually the first time. What do we do here? Oh baby, 50-50. It's 50-50 uh, is how it goes. And unfortunately, madame, you guessed the 50-50 incorrectly. Uh, okay. What do I want to do now? I'm gonna guard. Oh, okay. They, they do like to just run up and throw, huh? RL is gonna be great on this Narmaya, I think, to just catch them. Oh, no. To catch them in the process of just squirt, sort of coming in here on me. 2H, but we didn't hit a button, so you don't get the big red counter flash, at the very least. So that's something. Bonk. 6-6. Six, six. Oh, I wanted to 6-6-L six, six, them on their way down there, but I, I was a little, uh, slow on the draw, and I get high load, unfortunately. Actually, no, there's no high low there. Unless he jumps right back into the air right away, I should just always be walking low there. There's not even a high low. I just stood up for uh, no reason. That was a, a silly decision there. We can we can say for free. Yeah, yeah. There is no reason to, to be standing up there. Nice. Okay. Uh, this is this is good, right? We'll get. Uh, actually, I'm not going to super skybound dark. Uh, no, no. I will. I will not for the damage actually, but for the brave points. Because uh, I was going to say I want the Oki right here, which I don't want to super skybound dark because I want the Oki, and then we can get a second hit, and that hit can maybe kill off a super skybound dart. But actually, the, the more important reason the Skybound Art here isn't even for the damage, it is to get them uh, bereft of Brave Points, as it were. Get Raging Straw, oh, baby. Good, good reactions there. And they DP, and we get, oh god, we got Far H. Not like this. I should have done Close M, man. It has more, more range, I think, than any of those options. This is bad. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I should have... I should have, uh, again, catch it. We, we've noticed this Narmaya does like this to run up to you and throw in neutral a lot there. And that's a pretty risky, I mean, that gets caught by a whole lot of stuff, right? So we do need to be a little bit better about that. Okay. Bonk. Oh, spot dodge there because throw wouldn't have reached. That was the idea, at least. But maybe maybe I should have just kept matching the button in the cases where throw won't reach. Bonk. Bonk. Oh, nice. Get caught out there. We'll clothesline you. 
Bonk, bonk. Get some Oki. Uh, he's in her parry stance right now. So it's actually, yeah, there you go. I was going to say, he's in the, the stance where her DP isn't real. So we can just blow her up for it there. And uh, there you go. That's, I mean, wait, he's not. No, he's not dead. He's not dead. Uh, is she dead? I'm going to do this because I don't think so. So I'm just going to be, you know, better better safe than sorry there. Okay, they tech that. God damn. And, ooh, they guessed the command grab correctly there. And I brave countered way too preemptively. And suddenly, what was looking like a really great round, I may have just thrown away with that uh, jumpiness there. No reason to do that, right? No, unfortunately. That is just, again, some some jumpiness on my offense there, not even on my defense. What do you guys think? Do you super skybound dart them? I mean, they're definitely going to be seeing it coming, right? Yeah, okay, there you go. They, they didn't even give me the chance to think about it because they, they very immediately did something that would have made it a bad idea. They're going to run up and throw me again? I mean, really liking to do that, right? They're switching stances all over the place. Okay, that is minus. Oh, but they cover it with DP, of course. Of course, yes, I should have known. I should have known. They would do such a thing. That is, uh, we have punished them for DPs a couple of times, but they just, they still are definitely uh, very prone to it. I would say, I would describe it as. Okay, they're just they're doing things. It's fine. All of, all of, all of these things are things that they are doing technically. Get bonked. Wonderful. Go to the corner there. Sit down. I want to talk to you. Let me talk to you face to face real quick. Bonk, bonk. Get grabbed. Wonderful stuff. Uh, bonk. Gets not grabbed. There you go. So many different places where you have to get striker throw. It's what we love to see. You're not dead here, so I'm just going to do this anyways. Bonk, bonk. There you go. Bonk, bonk. And, oh, they don't. But we, we were not hitting a button there, but I also, you know what button I wasn't hitting? The guard button. They, uh, if they're going to do that out of the corner, I really do have to uh, use the guard button to block that. I mean, I think we can maybe even mash on it, right? But at the very least, I do have to be, when I see her disappear like that, I do have to be holding the guard button. Uh, what do you guys think? She's going she gonna to jump again? Yes, she is. Oh, man, I, I didn't get my uh, reversal super there, unfortunately. They back that to try and bait something in that circumstance. Okay, okay. Oh, far L. I tried to far L to catch something, and it didn't work out. Unfortunate. I actually did have... Uh, I wanted to reversal super right when we got... I think we got thrown that one time, right? That I said I, I, I wanted it and I didn't get it, right? But yeah, uh, if, I had, if I had done there, the reversal super there, actually, I think it would have worked. But unfortunately, uh, I apparently did not get the button out fast enough. So it's fine, it's fine. It happens, it happens. Again, we're, we out here, right? We're just uh, we're we're getting reps in. We'll we'll uh, pro progress is it comes in spurts. It comes in it comes in hills and valleys, and we're in a valley right now. It seems we uh, even even against some of the uh, these these you know equal equal skill players, we're definitely playing better. We're having better sets against people who are like you know uh, zero to like fifty gems in master rank versus like three or four thousand gem players. We're doing better, but we are still unfortunately not able to really clean things up when it counts. So it's it's okay. It's fine. We, 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 the, this is a, an important part of the process, and we for the past few videos here have been in a bit of a, a slump. We're in a slump. That's fine. Nothing wrong with being in a slump. Sometimes you just are in a slump. And uh, you just got to keep going through it. The only thing that can really ever stop you from accomplishing a goal is stopping. Is giving up, right? And uh, that is something that I do not plan on doing, ladies and gentlemen. So we're just going to we're just gonna keep going here. And we're going to keep trying to play our best. Keep trying to learn from each of our matches here. Keep trying to analyze what we're doing wrong. And we're doing a good job of that so far. But it's a matter of, uh, you know, you analyze these things and you do your best to uh, implement them. Sometimes you don't. But sometimes you go to bed and your, your supercomputer in your head there processes everything. And then uh, things go a lot better from then on. All right, Justin, combo dropper enthusiast on the Belial there. He's got the he's got the shades. We love to see it. Uh, Belial is again a character that yeah, I, I have trouble with neutral against this character. I think just because his, his the threat of his pinwheel is uh, is so spooky to me, right? But uh, I once once we're on defense at least, I feel like I have a decent idea of, of what this character's pressure options are. It's just that he did, he did a whole lot of plus frames and a whole lot of it's another character kind of like it's oh god we are getting some we are getting some lag right now. I tells you what yeah it's kind of another character sort of like uh, Catalina and Fairy and things like that, but in a different way. Right, patience is important against Belial when he's running his offense in the corner on your ass. I think, right? He just he has so many different little pl plus frames and staggered things and things like that that uh, you really don't want to just be hitting buttons willy nilly there because he is uh, when he when he does catch you for doing that, right, it's going to hurt a whole heck of a lot. So you don't want to give him that opportunity. A little bit of patience uh, never never hurt nobody. Okay, ooh baby. Okay, okay, okay. Two H gets faded there by us jumping. Owie, my face. I'll get thrown, I suppose. Two M there is plus on block. Got a. Belial is the proud owner of a plus on block 2M. Unfortunately, our roll there is is, is really, really bad. Uh, so we, we do get punished out of it for uh, rolling through that fireball there. Get sent to the corner, nerd. Get thrown down, nerd. Are we going to DP again? Oh, God. That was definitely supposed to be SPD. But unfortunately, uh, my hands disagreed. They said, no, we're super dumping instead. Okay. We delay tech that, actually, this time. Uh, throw, throw throw the pinwheel at me. I want to uh, I want to super through it. Oh, okay. Well, I can't quite when he does it uh, in a block stream like that, unless I hard read that he is going to. And I think he, we're about to feel the power that could tear us to shreds, as the music is uh, is implying here. Uh, oh, he dropped his combo. Goddamn. He combo dropper enthusiast. He wasn't kidding, but I wasn't ready to delay tech there. So I do just get blown up, unfortunately, by that throw. Okay, 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 okay. 
that's like something delay teching a little bit better against uh, Justin here. It's like a lot of a lot of times that I'm getting hit with a throw that I really there's no need for me to not be delay teching, right? So uh, that <clears throat> that's one thing that we're not doing super super well right now. If I do had to if I had to you know call it out necessarily. Oh, I thought he was gonna DP there. I tried to call that out and it did not work. A little bit too much respect on his DP, I guess. No need to like give up our whole offensive turn there uh, for him for for fear of him DPing us potentially. It's a bit uh, a bit unnecessary, I would say. Ooh, we did we actually we did actually kind of get shimmied there, but luckily we were, we were still able to basically catch him out there in his shimmy. We I hit too well there trying to delay tech, which is exactly what he was trying to bait out there with the with the shimmy, but uh, it actually ended up working out for us. I thought there was a gap there. I could have sworn there was a gap between the hits of the EX pinwheel there, but maybe not. Maybe I'm maybe I'm being uh, maybe I'm being a silly little billy. I could have sworn I've, I've seen a Belial get uh, get punched in the middle there. Maybe it depends on what follow up he does to the pinwheel, or maybe I was just too slow. Or maybe it's a six frame thing. It's, it's a lot of different uh, options here, and I don't know which one of them is is the correct answer. Okay, okay, uh huh, uh huh. Oh man, I tried to super skybound dart there on the way down, but I did wait one. I did it too early in the sense that he was uh, he was too high up in the air. Even if I had gotten super skybound there, I, I, I should have waited a little bit longer until he landed to do it. He might have just jumped a second time, right? But uh, I, I did it too early, so I just got hit uh, there as I was as I was sort of uh, doing the input incorrectly. But he, so I sorry, so basically, what, sorry, two things. Basically, one, I did the input wrong, so I got hit. Right, that's unfortunate. But even two, like theoretically, even that was a bad idea because even if I did get the input, he would have still been airborne when the skybound dart went off, right? So. Uh, wrong on all fronts there, unfortunately, with that attempt at the Skybound Dart, but it's fine. These things these things happen. We're getting... Uh, yeah, so right there, I thought there was a gap, but now that I look at it, it doesn't look like there is. Okay, he, he matched on the command grab there, and it is the correct guess in that circumstance. Ooh, 2M. Yeah, it's a low, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, it looks... It doesn't look like there's a gap there to me. I mean, I, I even tried to match the button there, nothing even came out. It looks like it was tight, if anything. It must be... It must, it must depend on what follow-up he does out of the pinwheel there. Ooh, and my delay tech was too early, so I get counter hit out of a 2L instead of actually delay teching there. All right, hold on. Bit of a bit of uh, some rollbacking here, but at the, on the bright side, we do roll back into getting a hit instead of out of getting a hit. Could be worse. Oh no! Yeah, we're dead. Yeah, yeah, we are. Inside. Good, good conversion there from him uh, off of that. Yeah, I guess canceling into headbutt there was a little bit uh, maybe not the correct option in that in that clash situation, right? I should have either uh, kept going for an auto combo there, or I should have uh, tried to throw or spot dodge or something. But headbutt is, is pretty pretty slow starting, right? So it'll lose to a lot of options in those kinds of situations. Counter hit there gives us enough plus frames to counter hit him once again. And hopefully start uh, working towards taking his life here. He's going to DP us on the way in. He has been doing that quite a bit, for sure. Let's get the close lines nerd. Okay. Oh, God. Plus on block 2M. I tried to 6XL afterwards, but it is his turn there. I'm a, I'm a silly little boy for even attempting that. Okay, okay. Pinwheel? Any pinwheelers? How oh, God. Ladiva caught losing to pinwheel. How will this affect her legacy? I don't know, man. I, I, I could have sworn I saw a Belial get smacked out of uh, that EX projectile at some point, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure how it happens, to be honest with you. Oh, his 2M is faster than mine. No, I think we both hit 2M at basically the same frame there, but his is seven frames and mine is eight, so it's, it's pretty close at the very least. Okay, he keeps trying to. He's, he's definitely like he's hard baiting out Skybound Dart, right? Is what he's doing right now. Oh, maybe he met me up in the air there. Understandable. Nice, nice. Okay, okay. Counter hit far L there. Doing big work for us. Gives us this super skybound dart combo. Of course, he's still uh, fine. He's still alive. But on the bright side now, we do have a pretty meaty brave point advantage. The only question is, is he going to DP again? I think I'm going to guess that he is. Just because of how I've basically failed to punish him at any point for it. Oh, no. He's going to backthrow me instead. Fair enough. Uh, that guard crushes Modius there is scary business. Oh, my God. God damn. Uh, yeah, I was gonna that guard question from Osmodius is scary business puts us in chip and he tried to DPS right after but I cannot believe that jump H crushed his DP I guess the second hit of uh, Belial's DP there is not a super high attack level good to know god damn god god dang even You gotta stop uh, giving our turn up against his Belial in fear of his DP That's exactly uh, that's exactly what you would love to see as someone who DPs a lot hey, This is not really that big of a deal in the grand scheme of things We gotta stop uh, giving showing it so much respect and like straight up giving up turns on offense for it Okay Owie, my delay tech once again, getting uh, caught out a little bit there by him throwing a little bit later. He shimmies there, but gets punched out of it regardless. You love to see it. That's the opposite of what happened last time. Bonk, and bonk, bonk. Wonderful. That is why you tech with, a, with an attack button, by the way, and not throw. Okay, break counter. That's fine. Honestly, I, I'm glad that I just didn't accidentally put myself in the corner there for all uh, essential. Okay, he blocks all that this time. No, no gap for me to match on there, and I do get grabbed or bonked by the command grab in that circumstance. Throw a pinwheel at me. Do it. I know you want to. Oh, you want to? I'm gonna super right through it. Oh, okay. In that case, I actually could have maybe, but in in the block string, it's a little bit harder to react to when it's actually about to happen. Oh, oh, nice. Goddamn. 
Good thing he didn't get that hit conversion, though, because that would have been uh, definitely death for us. Yeah, watch your toes. He's definitely, you can see, he's, he's, ra oh, no. Yeah, he did that a couple of times before. Oh, my God, but he didn't get the punish. Wild stuff. Oh, my God, wild stuff. And we hit him with the foozies to whiff punish that 2M. God damn, that was pretty good stuff. I mean, us, uh, he, he has been jumping that, uh, he's been jumping twice there to bait Super Skybound Dart a lot. So it was a little silly of us to actually go for the Super Skybound Dart in that instance. But uh, he, he also, oh, God. He also did, uh, he missed his hit confirm there, and we were able to capitalize on that. Again, he, he's been st just kind of sticking out that 2M button in neutral a lot, and it's a good button, but it's not, it's not like it's, you know, it's not like it's unmess with -able. Right, We can't still try and, uh, oh, baby. We can't still try and whiff punish that if, if we know it's coming, which is kind of what we ended up doing there, so hooray. Oh, but there, yeah, we are minus, I hit far M there, which is incredibly optimistic. That's a 8 frame normal? 9 frame normal? Or something like that? With us already being like minus 5 or something from the bad tech. That was, uh, that was a really hard call out on him doing nothing, which has not been what he has been doing so far. So I would not call that a uh, solid option there from us on defense, but it is what it is. We're going to Super Skybound Dart him here. Just again, once again, uh, brave points more than anything. The damage here is obviously nice too, because it means that potentially we could maybe even uh, get, not a kill on the next hit, but at least get into a very spooky situation on the next hit. Oh, 2M. Calling out my toes right there. Highly unfortunate stuff. His last brave point, reduced to Adams. DP? 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 No, he's not going to DP. Oh, but I could have, you know, I could have done a raging strike conversion there. I just didn't have clothesline. It made me, it made me a little uh, uncomfortable. Okay, this is bad. Oh, nice. I, I tried to, uh, yeah, I tried. I guess far H is what I tried there essentially. And I think that was maybe a little bit, uh, a little silly. You could call that a little silly, right? Just because. Uh, oh, baby. Okay, okay. Get bonked? No, nope, do not get bonked. That's my bad. Oh, nice. We actually did catch him on the way in there after that uh, 2M again. It's plus 2, right? But that doesn't mean that's not that's not plus enough for an entire 6XL, right? So if, he, if he's just going to do 2M into 6XL, we can definitely kick him out of that. All right. Oh, baby. RL to catch him on the way in here. There you go. Wonderful. Like I'm saying, right? We actually could have gotten a full conversion off of that, but I didn't hit him from it. But again, at least it stops him in his tracks there and gives us a, a little bit of breathing room in the neutral. All right. RL is, uh, is one of my favorite buttons that I've recently discovered my, my love for. Okay, well, oh, what? Yeah, I did not realize that he would be in throw range there. I was not, oh, what? He whiffed the throw. Speaking of uh, not in throw range. Uh, I think this will, speaking of in throw range, I think this will still hit. Yeah, okay, wonderful. Uh, once again, just to get, I mean, maybe that time you could argue that the brave points aren't quite as important and just like getting some Oki on him potentially for another hit would be good. This is not going to give us like actual real Oki, right? Yeah, yeah, once again, 2M, brave counter, get off me. Get away again. Super jump. Nice. Got the brave counter there. We have the little gap, right? We, we, we always got to leave a gap there, right? Uh, so if they if they it gives them the ability to mash on command grab, and uh, then you hit them if they if they if you if they guess incorrectly and do guess command grab when you're gonna strike. So he did. He ended up getting a raging strike there instead of a brave counter, and we take that round. But this round is not starting so hot for us. Let's see. Owie. Double. Oh my God. There's more combo to go there. Oh, he just he just stopped uh, hitting his controller. Yeah. So I, I think after we block that two, unless he's like right in our face, we do have to be a little bit more. Uh, a little bit more belligerent about challenging that, right? Because if he's going to do 2M into 6XL, which is something that he has... To, oh, no. That was definitely supposed to be SPD. I mean, it would have whiffed anyway, because uh, he was, he was he got hit by that, right? But uh, getting getting the uh, the clothesline there is, is even spookier of a situation. Yeah, exactly. kind of similar thing. We were plus, and we went in for the 6XL, and he blew... Yeah, same thing. He, we, he blew us up for it, and now we blew him up for it. Right, he's he's plus, but he's not that plus. He can't just he can't just go plus two into into nonsense like that. We could have actually got, gotten a kill off of that hit confirm. Unfortunate. But let's not uh, let's let's put it behind us and just try to uh, play things right from now on. Okay, we'll delay tech there. We're doing a lot better about that. Oh, he goes he does two two M's though. That's something you can do to beat us mashing, right? Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. So if he's gonna do two M's six XL, sure we can mash on that. But if, if he does two two M's in a row like that, it actually does reach far enough to uh, link. We're well, not linking to itself, but you know to just to just hit us again there. So. The, that is that, that was his adaptation there to blow us up. Okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, you know, it, it, it is what it is. I think I think maybe 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 sometimes. So we we've been we've been playing all right, I think. But I think uh, a lot of a lot of little things are just not really snapping into place. So I think this is a good a good opportunity. For example, sometimes well, not every day is your day, right? Uh, today is just apparently not my day. I mean, uh, I'm gonna be in TNS uh, pretty uh, pretty soon here. So let's see. Maybe I can, hopefully I can I can take a little break between uh, between recording here, right? And uh, maybe go read Cagliostro's Dust Loop real quick, uh, and and then you know do a little bit better in TNS. But for some reason you know things just aren't clicking right now. It's okay. It's fine. Uh, I, I I've I recorded two videos today. I was gonna try and do three, but I think it's probably a good idea to step away for a little bit here, at least until the tournament, right? And just go relax, go look at something else, right? 
Uh, you don't, don't you don't always try to brute force things. If something's not working right now, then it's not working. You know, you got you got uh, you got time. Time is on your side. Just uh, take a take a break, go out and uh, do something else. So I think that's what I'm gonna do here. But in all, in, all, in any case, it's still like we're still we're still doing all right, right? It's just that we, we we are definitely losing a whole lot today, and I think a lot of it comes down to. I mean, some of it comes down to like, you know, if we're going to play, be playing against Artorias, we're going to be playing against Council, right? I'm not so upset, right? But like people like uh, like Justin there and uh, was it Sprite Cranberry, things like that. Those, those people were definitely very beatable, right? We were just doing a lot of, uh, like we, we missed a hit confirm there, for example, on uh, on Justin that would have gotten us the kill, right? That that last Belial there. Uh, so there's it, some little things that are just like, I feel like I'm not fully present right now, right? So in, in those really clutch moments, I can't I can't really lock in. I mean, yeah, there, there's, that's the word. I'm not like locked in right now. Right? Maybe, maybe that's because I'm, I'm, I'm just kind of going here like, oh, you know, we're just on rank, we're warming up before TNS, right? Things like that. But regardless, something is not clicking in the brain right now, so we'll uh, we'll just we'll give it some time to rest. Uh, with all that being said, we'll see what we can get up to in future videos here. But for now, as always, you made it this far in the video. You know how it is. I got four things for you. Number one, uh, join the Discord server. It's a nice place. It's, uh, you can go. There's a link in the description. There's, uh, you know, people can talk about fighting games, uh, relink, gotcha games, art, music. There's everything there in there, right? It's just a community for you to hang out and make friends. So I implore you to join, but I also implore you to please keep it to the nice and welcoming place that it currently is. I haven't really had to do any sort of moderation or anything like that. But I won't hesitate to drop the ban hammer on somebody's ass if I have to. So just don't let that be you, okay? Don't be the first person that I have to ban. Of course, number two, if you like the video, and I sure hope you did, even though you know it was, it was a rough one. But again, there's, this is the losses here are important for long-term learning, right? We can sort of, we got, I can kind of go back. Maybe I'll, I'll watch some of these replays, maybe, uh, and and check see what I could have done a little bit better. Because right? right now it's not coming to me, but I'm sure it, with with a clear eye tomorrow or something like that, uh, I'll do this off camera probably. But you know, if, if I watch some of these replays, I think it'll become a lot clearer. You know, some of the the bad habits that I was falling into without realizing it there. But in any case, uh, please get down there like the damn video. It's free. It don't cost you nothing. Go to the channel. I appreciate it a lot, of course. While you're there, for number three, that subscribe button, that bell button. They are right over there. Keep you up to date with all this video content that we've got coming out at you. We've got three videos a day, almost two and a half to five hours of content, depending on the day. So uh, I recommend you hit those two buttons there to stay up to date with when something is uploaded. Maybe go back and watch it when you've got a minute, because I assume you don't have five hours a day dedicated to this little old me. If you do, I appreciate it. That's kind of weird. And of course, for number four, most importantly, more important than whatever button you smash or whatever algorithm friendly interaction to hit me with. I appreciate those, of course, but most of all, I've been a great time hanging out today, as always. I know I sure did, right? Again, we it's it's just because at the end of the day, first off, I'm always my 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 main goal this video game is to have a good time, right? And I'm still having a good time. But obviously, it's a little bit frustrating. It can be a little bit frustrating when you feel like you've uh, regressed somewhat from what from where you uh, you may have been, right? But that's fine. That's, it happens, right? These things happen. Uh, so I'm not it's not really I'm not really too upset about it. I'm just I'm like I'm I'm recognizing that I'm currently not playing at my peak, and maybe I need to you know give my brain a little bit of a break, reset things, right? So I'm stepping away from the game for an hour until TNS starts, right? But at the same time, still having a lot of fun. It's still, you know, it's still, it's still uh, the, the neurons still go off whenever we get a hit, right? Things are good. So there's going to be a lot more Grand Blue coming your way. Having a lot of fun with it still. But for now, I will see you in the next one. Peace.